Before entering transactions, there are three things that you should have already done. One, created a budget. Two, entered your transaction types. And three, collected all your income and expense amounts. Now this is important. Don't leave anything out. Remember all those amounts will need to be paid. Leaving them out will just cause worry again because they'll be unexpected. Entering a transaction into the Stop Money Worries application can be done three ways, all ending at the same form. From the budget screen to Transactions This Budget. From the Transaction tab. Or three, from the scheduler. The green plus sign anywhere on the application is an add button, but usually it is under the actions tab. Enter the expense or income in the items name. Then the due date that is to be paid. Choose a budget you want the item to be associated with. At the moment I only have one. Choose one of your item types. If you're not sure about transaction types, there is a video under the tutorial page called Transaction Types. Choose one of the SLFG categories. Again, there is a video on making this decision on the tutorial page. Now enter either the income or the expense amount. Now comes the multiple function section. If you are adding weekly, fortnightly or monthly transactions like groceries, you only have to add it once by choosing the frequency of the entry. How many entries is the number of times you want it entered? So for groceries, we shop every week, so I will enter it 52 times for our yearly budget, 26 times if you shop fortnightly, and so on. Enter any notes you want to associate with this item. If you are adding more transactions to a budget, you can hit Save and New, and you'll be able to continue adding. Otherwise, just hit Save. To edit a transaction from the Stop Money Worries application can again be done three ways. From the Budget screen to Transactions This Budget. From the Transaction tab. Or three from the Scheduler, but I'll come to that later. From the Transactions This Budget and from the Transaction tab, you will have to find the transaction you wish to edit. You can do this a few different ways. By clicking onto the item heading or any of the headings, to sort in alphabetical order or numeric order. Clicking them again will sort it into the opposite order, as in due date, January to December, or December to January. The default order is the due date, last date first. The other way is to use the filters. With this powerful tool, you can find any item. Because the filter tool is so comprehensive, there is a separate video on the tutorials for this. Once you have found the item you wish to edit, click into the checkbox to select it. Then go to the Actions tab and select the pencil. Now you can edit the transaction. Correct the expense amount with the updated cost, change the date paid, or check the Paid box when your transaction has been paid. Finish by hitting the Save button. On the scheduler, double-clicking onto an item will open the edit form where you can change any of the information. If you want to mark the item as paid, just do that from the scheduler. 